you up to see that. I'm standing somewhere on top of it, but I'm not sure exactly where. Uh, Alright, you're not a geek. Um, this is pretty much how bad I am. I've come back to CERN twice in the time I've been in Geneva. Um, we've got this little museum thing down here, which is really cool. We came on Saturday, and there's a guy showing us around uh, with some little experiments with liquid nitrogen and stuff. Um, I'd love to go on the tour, but it's fully booked for 10 months, so there's obviously an awful lot of sad people who like physics in the world. But uh, it's just a really, really interesting place. Everything here is just free to come and see. The exhibition on, uh, on Saturday was free. Uh, the trip around the, the, the three-hour trip around the actual laboratories and everything is also free. But there's uh, so much to see here. It's just an excellent museum. Um, telling you all about how the uh, particle accelerator works and how physics works. And it's just great for everybody. Um, I would come back here again <laughs> if I had the time. But uh, it's just a, uh, can't recommend it highly enough, um, if you're as sad as I am. And I'm going to walk out of here with a couple of t-shirts as well. That's how bad I am. Um, like I said, Geneva's got an awful lot to offer. And uh, this is just one of the more amazing sites. There you go. It's, uh, now, this is just quite a a cool place for people as sad as me. Um, everything you can ever want to know about physics and particle matter in one building. It's pretty cool. I'll shut up and uh, go look at some more things.